This is a McLaren Speedtail. Just look at it. I mean, it is unlike anything that McLaren have ever made before. I love the color. It's very dark blue with a hint of purple. You can see it in the sunlight. Now, the special thing about this car, well, there are many special things about this car. It is that it's designed to, for speed, as you can pretty much tell by the name. So, this car has a V8, a 4 litre V8 twin turbo with a hybrid system that makes around 1000 horsepower, around 1050 horsepower. Plus, uh, it's made as a direct direct successor of the McLaren F1 so like the F1 this car is designed for speed and handling which is why it has these discs on the wheel these are stationary they don't rotate with the wheel they're all carbon fiber pretty much still and uh, this car is made of very very special materials so special in fact that's why it doesn't have a rear spoiler Basically what it does have is bendable body panels. So you can see the lines here, this one and this one. Basically this flap lifts up when needed. So it basically bends to create downforce. And that's why, you know, because of all that power it's, and all that aerodynamics, that's why it's so long. It's called the speed tail. So these are its tail lights here you have a grill going b behind the logo that's again for air you have an exhaust system here that's the exhaust pipe it's been cut in such a way that it looks like it gets very long and you have the diffuser here I'm sure that's also adjustable plus you have a third tail light here in the middle you have some air darts and here and here you have sockets here where you can charge the car it doesn't have any rear view mirror it has cameras which are retractable so they can go inside the body when they're not needed and you can see the image here now speaking of the interior its interior is very similar to the McLaren F1 in that way that it has three seats the driver sits in the middle a little in front of the passenger so that he can get a better view of his surroundings and of course the steering wheel is also in the middle so he has two touch screens on either side and a LCD screen in the middle the steering wheel is pretty much standard McLaren so yes this is McLaren's fastest car it goes over 250 miles per hour 0 to 60 I'm guessing less than 3 seconds and it's amazing it's very very beautiful in the photos I did not really like it that much but seeing it for real Oh my god. So this is its headlights. You can see it has carbon fiber around it as well. Exposed carbon fiber. You have this daytime running light here. Plus you have this air duct here where air just passes through the car. Front splitter is also all carbon fiber. Now this is not the first speed tail that I've seen. The first speed tail was also in this very showroom. It was a light blue car. Anyway, the salesperson is not here today, so maybe he would have let me see the inside. So I have a video of the inside of the first speed tail that I saw. That was number 002 of 106 made. Now I do have one, I should say, former competitor of this car. Basically, it's a competitor of the McLaren F1. It's a British car. Can you guess what it is? Well, let's go back to the 90s. Before the McLaren F1 came and set its world record for the highest top speed of a road going car there was one more British manufacturer that made a hypercar that was possible of those speeds but because of McLaren F1's higher top speed it was almost forgotten that is this car the Jaguar XJ220 oh my god oh my god this is you know such a beautiful car Plus, it's you know one of my favorite childhood cars. This, the F50, the Countach. These are all cars of the 90s. 
I mean, I grew up seeing in video games and uh, TV. Just cannot believe I'm seeing it here. Also, so all right. So I have to give this showroom too many classics, or as I like to call them, too many classics. A shout out because they were the first location where I saw my first XC220, a green one, and my first speed tail, a light blue one. And now here they have the second batch of cars. Isn't it wonderful? It's so big. Okay, so this car basically has a 3.5 liter V6 engine. Yes, it was supposed to have a V12, but it, they went with a V6. They were not able to uh, afford it or something. So I, I read this history, but it's been a long time now, so I don't remember everything about this car. So there were a lot of hurdles when they were making it, and then there was a financial crunch in the market. So this car was not as successful as it was supposed to be. Now, if you look at it, if you really look at it, its diffuser system is not that different from the McLaren F1. Well, and the rules of aerodynamics are same for all cars, new or old, because it has this gorgeous spoiler wing that you don't see on many cars nowadays. Let me see if I can show you the interior. It's so sunny that it's, it's too much reflection. Interior is actually a little underwhelming. I got a chance to sit in the first XC220 that I saw. So I have a video of the interior of that as well. I got to see how the panels for the headlights, they pop down. So the light bulbs are here, actually here. I used to think that the panels would rotate, but they don't, they just drop down. Yeah, it's amazing. You have a large radiator here that cools the car. You have, I believe, this adjustable front spoiler. It's amazing. Now, speaking of British cars, I have a third British car here. That's by Aston Martin. So this is the Aston Martin Lagonda. This is a super large sedan. It is absolutely beautiful. They've made only 120 of these. And yeah, it's a big car. It's bigger than the Maybach. It's bigger than the Phantom. Lengthwise, it's huge. Anyway, that's not the only British car that I have today. Another British car I have here, Jaguar E-Type. Actually, two of them. Plus this newcomer, not this, this Aston Martin DB4. GT. Look at it. Hmm. Anyway, so basically, I was talking about the speed tail, and uh, it's amazing. The cars that I've seen is basically serial number 2, serial number 17, and serial number 45. So I have uh, videos of those as well. I'll leave a description of the car's specifications in the video's description, plus links for other, oh look at Porsche, um, other McLaren videos that I've made. Senna, other speed tails, the uh, 720S, that's the Porsche. So, oh, an R8. Cool. Okay, so do have a look at my channel and I also have a video of another British hypercar which is more powerful than this and that combined which is the Lotus Evija. So do have a look at my channel if you like Koenigsegg, Bukhari, Pagani, even classic cars or modified cars. Just have a look at my channel, you'll find them all.